and here we are going to derive marshallian demand function and marshallian demand function as we have already studied that this was the concept given by the marshall and it is expresses the relationship between the quantity demanded of a quantity and at the same time its relationship with its the price so actually this provides us the solution that how with the change in the price quantity demanded of any commodity it will be changed so when we see this it means we can calculate that quantity of the commodity that will give the optimal choice bundle to the consumer aur agar hum sada alfaz mein kahe to wo ye hai ki consumer ke paas agar do goods x1 aur x2 hain aur wo unke consumption bundle ko istemal kar raha hai jab unke respective prices uske paas price 1 aur 2 hain uski income constant hai whenever now there will be change in the price to uski demand चेंज होती है ये वाला चेंज इन डिमांड की वजह से उसका एक्चुअल नया ऑप्टिमल बंडल चेंज होगा इट मींस नाउ द कंज्यूमर विल हैव द डिफरेंट यूटिलिटी लेवल पहले यूटिलिटी लेवल से अब उसका यूटिलिटी लेवल या इन डिफरेंस कर्व लेवल चेंज होना है इफ वी आर एबल टू कैलकुलेट द चेंज इन कमोडिटी डिमांडेड उसकी क्वांटिटी को हम मैयर कर सकें तो हम असेस कर सकते हैं कि उसका जो ऑप्टिमल चॉइस बंडल है आइदर उसकी वजह से वो बेटर ऑफ हुआ है या वो उससे लेस पर गया है अब अगर हमने इसको मैयर करना हो तो हम किन तरीकों से कर सकते हैं सो वेन एवर वी हैव टू डिसाइड दैट वट इज द एक्चुअल अमाउंट या वो क्वांटिटी जो कि कंज्यूमर को ऑप्टिमल यूटिलिटी देती है या उसकी यूटिलिटी मैक्सिमाइज करती है हमने उस कमोडिटी को उसकी उस क्वांटिटी को मैयर करना हो तो हमें उसको मैयर करने के लिए वी कैन टेक द हेल्प ऑफ यूटिलिटी मैक्सिमाइजेशन अप्रोच अब यूटिलिटी मैक्सिमाइजिंग अप्रोच को अगर हम एक्सप्लेन करें तो इट मींस देर इज डिमांड ऑफ कमोडिटी एक्स जो हम उसकी प्रेफरेंसेस पे हम ऑलरेडी हम बात करते हैं कि डिपेंड्स अपॉन वेरियस प्राइसेस एंड इनकम व्हेन वी हैव टू यूटिलाइज द यूटिलिटी मैक्सिमाइजिंग अप्रोच देन फ्रॉम दिस डायग्राम वी कैन सी दैट द कंज्यूमर इज हैविंग दिस इन डिफरेंस कर्व दैट डिपिक्ट्स द वेरियस बंडल्स अवेलेबल टू द कंज्यूमर एंड दीज ऑल बंडल्स आर ऑन द सेम इन डिफरेंस कर्व मीन consumer is indifferent among all these bundles but he select only this bundle a because it was tangent to his original budget line now suppose now that the price of the commodity x has decreased making possible for the consumer to shift to this new budget line or to pivot to the new budget line making him possible to have a new optimal bundle b and if the price of x decreases further so again a new budget line is pivot out with the flatter slope and the consumer is having this third bundle c so in this form we can see the consumer has shifted from bundle a to bundle b and then to bundle c in response to the change in the price and for these respective prices we can see that only the price of that commodity x has changed when we measure the change in quantity demanded with respect to these prices then we can plot the relationship between that quantity demanded and this price so when we plot this again we are having quantities demanded on x axis and the same respective points of the combination and their prices on y axis and we join this then we can have this demand of the consumer 
and we can have the demand function. If I explain this in this form together, then we can say that these are the factors or the points that have affected the consumer through these prices. And now for these three, the consumer have the similar points joining and consumer have expressed this in the form of this demand curve. But here this is the case when the consumer it was dealing with a normal good. It means this relationship it can be different for the different nature of the commodities. So if I have to derive this demand curve for the normal good, so I will utilize the same price consumption points and the same points derived downwards and explained on the vertical axis with the price. This demand curve will be explained for the normal good and it will show that the price consumption curve is moving upward and the demand curve is moving downward. If we will include the case of the inferior good, in the inferior good again the price consumption curve it is upward but the backward bending and with that backward bending we can see now that the quantity demanded in response to the price fall has not increased rather reduced. So in this form we can have now that the consumption of the good has reduced and the price consumption curve is backward bending. When we say the neutral goods, neutral goods we have already studied means these are that type of the good on which there is no change of the price change. So whenever there will be any type of this good we will deal and the price of x if it falls budget line it pivots outward for this. So it means only the quantity demand budget line has shift like this but the consumer has not shifted its demand from this point rather from this bundle to this bundle A to B consumer shift in a manner that the commodity demanded of x2 might be or the y has changed but for the x it remains the same. So it shows the price consumption curve that is the vertical form and we have the same type of the demand curve mean that is vertical without any change. So Marshallian demand curve when it is derived mathematically we can have that we are having this utility function when we are having this multi good case that is our objective function and subject to our budget constraint that is our constraint. So we can utilize the Lagrange multiplier model means where we can say this objective function plus lambda into subjective function and this Lagrange is now derived at the first order condition and through the first order condition now we are having n plus 1 equations n number of x and 1 for lambda. So we are having this multiple level of the equations and change in utility due to change in x, change in utility due to change in x2 and likewise we are having one equation equal to lambda and when we equate this we may have change in utility due to change in x1 equal to lambda into p1 and here we can de derive like this. So either we can have any type of equation where we can equate them with the lambda or we can equate with the price of 1. Now coming to the point we have one equation where we can have this utility equation 1 divided to the marginal utility equation 
with the other and it gives us this price ratio and from the same we can have the value of lambda and from this equation we can come up with that this price when it is placed here and lambda up to this we can have this that lambda is actually that value that determine that what will be the change in utility with respect to one unit of price and likewise price will be the change in utility for one unit change for one unit of lambda so that it gives the economic valuation of the commodity and from here we can check that how much consumer is willing to offer or to pay for one additional unit of the commodity so when we substitute this value of the price into our budget constraint we come up with the amount of x1 x2 x3 so these lagrange help to determine the marshallian demand function